to use your squeezy soap with the bits and in the bath. Do you want to smell me? Why are you touching my things? Why, why are you watching my telly? Why, why are you even here? Noah! Where were you last night, you dirty stop out? <sighs> You've got to be kidding. Oh, don't look so shocked. You said yourself you thought I was being a bit hasty. I didn't mean... You're out of your mind. What he means is, he's very happy for us. We've sorted it, Nikhil. We've drawn a big fat line. We don't need a big brass band or a fly past, but you are going to have to get used to the idea. Oh. Is that Grandma's ring? Well, I'm the firstborn son. It's a family heirloom. Seems like the obvious thing to do. You are the only person we have told, right? Apart from Noah. I'm honoured. I'm getting a slide and a hamster. Yeah, well, maybe not a hamster, darling, cos you know what? I reckon Uncle Nickel thinks one rodent's enough right now. <gasps> well, come on! You got nothing to say? Hey! Oh, come in, my don't you? Well, I'm just looking for a little girl about, um, this high. Oh, hi. Um, I need some help from you. Yeah, guess what? I need a bridesmaid. Me! Yeah, you! I'm the page boy! <laughs> Is this a joke? I'll take that as a congratulations then, shall I? Wait a minute, that's a turnaround. Come on then, show us the ring. Okay, family heirloom. Nice. Second hand, you must be gutted. Well, it means a hundred times more than anything you've ever bought me. Gosh! Thank you so much for such an underwhelming response, everybody. Yeah, it's really heartwarming to know how much you all care. Sarah's hospital visit today, you stupid cow. Yes, I know that, thank you. And don't call me a stupid cow. I'm just trying to take a mind off it. Nothing to do with winding Dad up, then. You just can't help yourself, can you? No, Debs, that isn't the reason. <sighs> You're unbelievable. Go on, don't let us keep you. Debs, I was trying to be supportive. Supportive? You don't know the meaning of the word. Come on, babe. You all right? What do you want? I heard about charity. Yeah, well, don't go splashing out in the monkey suit just yet. She seemed pretty set on it to me. I'm sorry, son. I'm telling you, she won't marry me. There's no way she's going to get hitched to toffee, boy. Well, no one can fault you for trying, but... You're going to have to accept that she's going elsewhere. I don't elsewhere. have to accept anything. Oh, son. Look, take away the house and the car. Do you really think she'd be with him? I don't know. But it's her life, isn't it? I don't expect you to be happy for happy her. Happy about but... what? There's not going to be a wedding. But I can promise you that. You know, after everything you said, you, you're going for for a sweet talk. I'm still on this. It makes me look like a total idiot. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, it's all right. It's only Nikhil. It's fine to screw him over. Oh, no. Hang on. I've got an idea. Let's get married so we can do it every single day. Married? Me and Charity. Wait, you back on? Congratulations! Thank you! <gasps> Do you mind? This is a private conversation. Oh, yeah, sorry. Look, I know Charity's not perfect, and she'd be the first to admit that. And I made a promise never to stitch you up again. Oh, you had to ask? Yeah, I did. Well, that's reassuring. Look, she grovelled in front of the whole factory. You saw her. We're just gonna have to trust her on this. No, but you won't know she's doing it, though. It's just... It's the way she works. That's my fiancé you're talking about. You sure about this? You know me. As soon as they move a toothbrush in, that's when I know they've got to go. But Charity... She's the real deal. So, I want to know dates, venues. Are you going to change your name? Mm -hmm. All up for a discussion. <laughs> yes, Miss Harvey, the first to know. Yeah. But I'm not going to be rushing into anything because I've already done the big dress thing once, haven't I? Uh. <laughs> All right, four times. <laughs> yeah, well, I want this to mean something this time. Oh, oh we're going to be related. Just <laughs> oh, <laughs> the thought of that fill you with joy. Oh, I don't know. It might do if Zach buys a ram. <laughs> yes, come on, Zach. Splash the cash. Welcome, Jay, to the family. <laughs> don't tell me they've got engaged. Well, four marks to her. That's they deserve each other. Just... Oi. You going to tell Dak the good news? No, let's leave that for the proper doing. Oh, he just said that in front of witnesses. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <God>. do. Oh. <laughs>
How is the sugar daddy? Uh, sugar people. I wouldn't know. I wasn't introduced. <laughs> Mother Debbie's hair. Oh, yeah, that went down like a cup of cold sick, actually, yeah. Um, tried to cheer Sarah up and got accused of being self-obsessed. Mm, you're still beating yourself up. Bad mother guilt. Yes, you've got a lot to be introduced to. Oh, don't worry, Debs will thank you in the end. Wait until Sarah sets her eyes on a puffy princess dress. <gasps> <gasps> yeah! Why was I so quick to chuck out them beautiful bridesmaids dresses? Mm. Babe, I'm going to go over to Debbie's. What, now? Yeah, I'm going on. OK. Hiya. Take your time. I was just having a drink. Nice to know where priorities lie. Can I just talk to Debbie? Right, I'm going to take Sarah up. Come on, you. Let's go and find a book. All right, sweet. What is it, then? What did the doctor say? Come on, Debs. You haven't said a word since I got back. They don't know anything for definite. They didn't even want to tell us. But she's got something wrong with a bone marrow. It could be one of four things. Well, what? What things? I don't know till a test comes through. It's linked to some genetic disorder. A what? Something wrong with the genes. Yeah, I can work that out. A blood count came back abnormal, basically, and now they need to do more tests. What does that mean? What's wrong with her? Oh, I just said, I don't know. She's going back in a couple of days for a general anaesthetic. What? Well, that's good if they're going to get to the bottom of this. It means it's really serious if they need to do all these tests. Whatever she needs, we will sort this. Yeah. And Sarah is a little fighter. I'm flipping it. If you're looking at jeans, you couldn't get a better lot than ours. You're not wrong there. I just... I just don't want it to be Sarah. I know that... I shouldn't wish it on some other kid, but it's just so not fair. Oh, sweetheart. What if she is really ill? What am I going to do? How am I going to tell her? 